Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple multiple choice question within the H5P content. So at this point, you should have already learned how to log in to Pressbooks and identify or go to the Introduction to Theater Learning Resources book. Um, you'll be on the dashboard, but you want to look over here on the left menu for H5P content towards the bottom. And you can either go to all H5P content just to kind of browse what's in there, but um, you can also do add new directly. If you go to the all H5P content and want to create a new one, you click the add new button, which is right at the top next to the title. Okay, so you have to think of a title for your multiple choice question. I happen to be interested in lighting because I have a photography background, so I'm going to create a multiple choice question on um, lighting design roles in production. And so this question is going to be like right from theatrical worlds. It's going to use the information I read in there about that ch a lighting design chapter. So I click the drop down menu down next to select content type and you'll see multiple choice is right up here at the top. You want to click this blue use button on the right. If for some reason you would want to review like a tutorial on this topic, say this tutorial's not in depth enough for you, you could click this tutorial button right up here under the, the content type. And you can also see example an example of uh, what this type of H5P content is. So these will take you right to h5p.org to their tutorial and example page. If I want to add an image or a video for this multiple choice question, it'll show above the text. I click this drop down arrow next to media and for type, I'm just going to click image just to show you what adding a photograph would be like. Um, so I have a question about lighting and um, who's responsible for the physical role of setting up lighting. So I'm just going to scan through um, some photographs I have here on my hard drive and maybe pick one that is a lighting rig to illustrate this. It's not necessary. You don't have to have an image or a video to go with this. Um, if you do have an image, you want to provide alternative text for people who use screen readers. So I'm just going to say here that this is a, a, let's say a three column lighting rig in, on the right side of a stage. So if I scroll further down, you want to present your question right here in the question box. And um, my question is, I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it because I have it written out already in Word. So I'm just doing Control V to paste it in. I did Control C to copy over in Word and I'm doing Control V to paste it into Pressbooks. According to Cassandra Duran, author of the chapter on lighting design and theatrical worlds, there are three roles responsible for setting up the lighting for productions. Which role would be responsible for the physical implementation, making sure all the lighting instruments or fixtures get hung and focused correctly? Okay, so I have over on in Word, and you can't see this on the screen right now, um, the options that I want to give the students to choose from. So the first one is the lighting designer. Okay, that's not the correct answer. So I'm not going to select this box here, correct? So if you want to, if they select the incorrect answer, you can provide feedback to them right here in this box. Uh, that tells them exactly what the lighting designer does. So I'm going to paste this in from Word.
Okay, so they're, you know, they're learning even if they select the wrong thing. The next option I'm going to set up is the assistant lighting designer. Okay, so it's not correct, but I'll give feedback about what the assistant lighting designer does. The assistant lighting designer facilitates communication between the lighting designer and production team as well as helps with required paperwork for production. So I've actually seen this process and the assistant lighting designer will sit beside the lead designer and um, has a like a microphone and they, they talk to the actors or the stand-in actors on stage and tell them to go to certain points in the set so the lighting designer can then shine certain lights on them and you can get a feel for you know where that spotlight's falling is it falling in the correct position okay i'm going to add another option here i want more than two my third one is the master electrician and this is the correct answer so for feedback i'm just going to type in here Good job. I'm going to add another option, a fourth one, and I'm going to say the director of the production. And this is not correct. So I'm just going to add some feedback in case they select the director. And uh, there's this thing called overall feedback. You don't have to do this. You don't have to add this. Um, if they scored within a per certain percentage range, this is all or nothing. It's like one answer, one correct answer. If they get it, they get 100%. You can just ignore that. There's behavioral settings that will let you set like a retry button. It's on by default. Uh, there's a show solution button, which is on by default. And there's randomized answers. I don't alter these I just leave them set the way you know the system has them right now and there's also this thing called text overrides which allows you to control labels on buttons like the show solution retry button I don't I don't mess with this honestly I just leave this alone okay so if I scroll up back to the top the button to actually submit this and create this is right up here in the far right corner. Now this is a characteristic of WordPress sites and Pressbook, which is based off of WordPress. So don't miss this important create button right here. Um, so there's display options, uh, the toolbar below the content, download button, embed button, copyright button. To add copyright information for the image that you inserted earlier, you would click this Edit Copyright button beneath it. Go ahead and give the image a title. I'm just going to call this Lighting Rig. You want to insert the name of the author of the photograph. I happen to have taken this one, so I'm going to put my own name and put the year that the photograph was taken. Was taken in 2017 and then for licensing we're encouraging attribution only uh, that's the least restrictive license so if somebody uses it they have to give you credit but they can also like remix it and sell it and share it alike um, share alike means that if they make modifications they also have to share it publicly no derivatives it's very restrictive they can't make any kind of edits or remixing of it and non-commercial means they're not allowed to make money off of it so if it was a third-party publisher that's putting together packaging of OER uh, they could potentially charge a small fee for what they've created with your work so let's use attribution for now and we're going to stick with 4.0 International for the license version so that it's valid not only in the United States but in other countries as well. Okay, enough about copyright. Let's go ahead and create it. 
Okay, so here it is, and each time you create one of these H5Ps, it's given a unique ID, which you can see up here in the right-hand corner. Um, so when you submit to Blackboard, we want you to give the H5P ID, the unique ID, which is 10 on this one, and the title, and describe what it is you're asking and the answers options, um, designating which is the correct answer. So you can go ahead and try this out now. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and pick a incorrect answer and hit check. OK, so there's my feedback. The lighting designer is a leading role in creating the meaning and intent of a scene by painting with light, blah, blah, blah. blah. So I can either show the solution if I'm just done with it and want to see the solution, or I can hit retry and go ahead and select it and hit check and this happens to be correct so I get full credit for it. So now when I go back to H5P off H5P content on the left I can see my newly created multiple choice question right here at the top. Go ahead and uh, submit this title, the content type, um, and the ID, the H5 5P ID um, to Blackboard to get credit for this assignment.